Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Fucking pagan. One hit against his all-powerful military and now he's whinging like a little baby. Classic bully tactics. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. We had some thoughts about that, mate. Bagsy, bring it up, yeah? This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired, so all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio... I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? If DedSec had her back, imagine the kind of shit she could stir. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. Oh, people are just trying my patience. Yeah. All right. We keep so pissed. Watch out, animal. Don't let me down, you little shit. Fuck! They already got to her. We could have really used someone like her. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You said it, Bags. We'll make those dickheads pay and honour Claire. Let's have a look. Check out the graffiti, though. What's the deal? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Nah, there's something booky, though. This don't seem like them. A lot of heads been through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Hold on, they supply Albion, yeah? 
The dicks that killed Claire took her gear but left this tablet behind. Bags, can you scan it? Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is it. This is what we need to take down Cass. Bastard has to pay for what he's done. Claire, the whistleblower, all of it. Maybe Albion Gunner said something about Carousel? I think that means Carousel Plaza. That's Albion's propaganda library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. Whatever. After what we've seen, I'm not going to let some Albion twat stop me. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? a secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
friends. Been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. Captured, were they? Well, on the plus side, it's normally quite expensive to have a big lad in a mask tie you up. equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. Albion's automated propaganda hub you've thrown a spanner into. Ostensibly for broadcasting safety notifications to nearby optics, really all it does is bombard them with propaganda. Or... Well, I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing the military's held together with duct tape police are running scared someone has to save the people nigel someone strong <laughs> they do but 
I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. They'll scarper or they'll kill you for sure. I've skipped. We need to regroup. This is unbelievable. Has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the topping we needed. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control this city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hamish! Haha. <laughs> your hermitage finally wore out its welcome. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! You can lead Albion to water, but you can't make him... Uh...
sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. <sighs> you know what would be nice right now? A glass of sparkling white and an evening in the red light district. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. routine head counts, and it turns out one of you is completely unaccounted for. Probably kidnapped. Shit! Oh, don't be sick. They'll be fine, assuming they're not dead. In the meantime, I've identified someone with a grudge against dead tech who fits the profile of a likely kidnapper. Find him, and you'll find your friend. Of course. Easy peasy. Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he liked to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Well, maybe it's time to put that wanker in his place. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby.
Clear. Let's move on. access the elevator to the bunker. them out. Sierra 42, this is control. An alarm has been activated near you. Survey the area. Over. So you've come to end it, have you, DeadSec? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance Zero Day set in motion? My inevitable reign and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you.
is the future, the evolution of security enforcement. What the hell? You will not stand in my way! EMP station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements. Ah. Your fight is futile. They won't even thank you. All your efforts, all your sacrifice for nothing.
do some damage. Don't waste time. Let's get this over with. Time to end this. I will make London great again. I'm impressed. Think your little resistance is ready to be London's protectors? With you out of the way, definitely. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. I think we'll let the people decide what's good for them. There it is. Dead sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you, straight off the streets? Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. <sighs> well, that strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest. From zero day as well.